Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your attention. 128 qualification matches spread out over Thursday, Friday, and this morning. It's been a marathon, pun intended, here in Boston this weekend. I am so proud of all of our teams. <laughs> for doing such a great job helping us keep on time or ahead of schedule. Not only do the teams help us stay on track, but our excellent field crew, even in the midst of crazy things happening, continued to make this event run smoothly. A big round of applause for all of our friends. Resetting the field, repairing the field, and getting your robots connected. Thank you, guys. We'd like to take a minute to recognize all of our mentors. We do this through various ways. Often in the opening ceremonies, we recognize our mentors and our coaches and our parents for their hard work and efforts. But one of the things that makes this program so incredibly powerful is the fact that the mentors come in and they dedicate a large part of their lives to helping you, the students. But not only do they do that for one year, they come back. Sometimes they're a parent of one of the students on the team. But you know what? After four years, we still have those mentors stick around. They come back year after year after year to support support our program, and it is incredible to see. So at this time, we're going to do a little thing for our mentors in the audience, all right? Mentors. Do we have any mentors in the audience at this point? Any mentors? Yes? All right. Raise your hand, mentors. Mentors, raise your hand. Okay. That's good. So mentors, all the mentors, please stand up. See if you can get those knees working still. Oh, my knees. Oh. Thank you, mentors. Now I want all of our mentors to remain standing. All mentors remain standing. If you have more years of service than what I'm about to call, I want you to remain standing, all right? This is, gets crazy after a while because we're starting to talk about more years of service than some of you out there in the audience have been on this planet. It gets really scary then. Don't ask them how old they are, okay? So if you have been a mentor for more than one day, remain standing. If you've been a mentor for more than one year, remain standing. More than two years, remain standing. More than three years, remain standing. Now we get to the serious ones, more than five years. Remain standing. More than seven years, remain standing. More than nine years, remain standing. Now, more than a decade. Who's out there? Who's remaining standing? Oh, we got lots. All right, here we go. More than 11 years, stay standing. 12 years, stay standing. Now we're getting to high school age, more than 13 years standing. They're still out there, more than 14 years, stay standing. We've still got people up, it's 15 years, 15 years, are you out there? 17 years, where's our junior mentors? All right, here we go. 18 years. Have you been mentoring more than 18 years? Stand up. Nineteen years? Nineteen. All right, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, 20 years. If you are still standing after 20 years, like this, I want you to wave. 20 years, wave your hands. Unbelievable. All right. Anybody more than 20? 
Can you even do more than 20? Oh, there we go. Incredible, we still have a few. Ladies and gentlemen, over 20 years. Thank you guys, thank you. I know. Listen, if you've been mentoring for more than 20 years, you can only stand up for so long. Everything starts to hurt, okay? 20 years. Think about it. Someone has dedicated two decades of their existence on this earth, which is a limited one, unfortunately. Two decades of it to giving back to the students out here in the audience today. But guess what? Many of those mentors you've seen that have been mentoring for one, two, five, and 10 years, guess what? They were mentored by those 20-year mentors. It's crazy, it's a pipeline. We keep that pipeline full through dedicated efforts of not only those new mentors who are our new lifeblood, but those mentors who've been here 20 years showing us the way. One more time, a thunderous round of applause, all of our mentors. So we have two awards to give out before lunchtime here. They recognize our Volunteer of the Year Award and also our Woody Flowers Finalist Award nominee here. So our Volunteer of the Year Award, this is a special one. There are so many people that are deserving for it. Volunteers do everything you see back here, everything that makes this happen. From the field crew you are working with, your robot inspectors helping you get on the field, your machine shop people back there trying to get things repaired and ready to go. Pit admin helping you find that cylinder with a three inch stroke for whatever reason you needed right away, they would try to help you find it. To everyone handing out safety glasses, trying to make sure you keep both of your eyes for as long as possible. Everyone that you met and worked with today are volunteers. First wouldn't be possible if it wasn't for us coming back helping you, and you know what? I gotta tell you, as a volunteer, I have a lot of fun doing it. Volunteers, you guys have a lot of fun doing this? It's pretty awesome. It is awesome. And students, when you get the opportunity to volunteer, take it. If you think participating in the program is fun, try volunteering. It's even cooler, I promise. So, I'd like to invite up, first of all, the D District Championship Planning Committee to come up here on the field with me as well as our regional directors and the New England First Board of Directors. Please come up here on the field with me. Join me in a little semicircle against the Blue Alliance wall. Very nice, very neatly organized. I guess that's how things get planned, huh? That's good. Now to help present the Volunteer of the Year Award, I'd like to have you all welcome up Associate Director at UTC Aerospace Systems and member of the board for any first, Mike Sperber. Mike, take it away. Thanks, Eric. The Volunteer of the Year Award celebrates the dedication and service of truly outstanding volunteers. The phenomenal success of the first robotics competition is a reflection of the commitment and enthusiasm displayed by our volunteers. We are truly humbled by the passion and commitment of all of our volunteers. This volunteer has embraced the true meaning of outstanding volunteer. They were a student on a FIRST Robotics team. They're now a mentor. And in the past few years, they have stepped up to the plate by becoming a district event committee chair, tirelessly giving back to all of us here in the New England district. They truly embody the spirit of gracious professionalism, and it is an honor to recognize this person today. The 2018 New England District Championship Volunteer of the Year goes to Kyle Henry.
A huge congratulations to Kyle. Thank you so much for making this awesome event happen. And for all of your years of service as a mentor and a volunteer at many, many other events just like this. Big round of applause as well to all of our NE First District board members, regional directors, and planning committee. Thank you guys very much. Now, to present our Woody Flowers finalist award, please welcome Woody Flowers award winner in 1997. 1997, she does not look like she won this in 1997. But, but from 1997, allegedly, please welcome up Miss Liz Califf. Liz. I'm Paul Griswold from Team 155. I'm Joe Johnson from Team 88. Uh, Bill Pease from Team 2836 and 176. Sandra Brino, Team 195. Mickey Oliva, 3280. Ernie Smoker, 558. Ken Streeter, 1519. Mike Pettengill, 1058. John Dorenzo, 133. These are all our former WFFA winners in this region. Give them a big round of applause. Many of you have heard before that the Woody Flowers Award celebrates effective communication in the art and science of engineering and design. What you may not have heard before is that Dr. William Murphy, Jr., founder of this award, was instrumental in creating the concept of FIRST along with Dean Kamen back in the early 90s. I would know, you know. <laughs> Dr. Murphy and Dean had a conversation at Dr. Murphy's house in Florida and both agreed that we needed to do more to do something big, to elevate the demand among young people for careers in science and engineering. Now, many years later, we can see that thousands of teams in a myriad of events, they have succeeded. When Dr. Murphy found the Woody Flowers Award in 1996, he sought to celebrate the one mentor who in the concisely communicated written words of students demonstrates the leadership ethical behavior, and communication skills exemplified by Woody. At each regional event and each district championship, one mentor will receive the Woody Flowers Finalist Award. Then at the championships in Houston and Detroit, one mentor will be selected from present finalists and renominated past finalists to receive the 2018 Woody Flowers Award. You shared high praise for all of the accomplishments of your teams and the wonderful commitment of your mentors. Our decades of first experience here in the New England leaves us with a wealth of mentor talent and expertise. We happily describe for you today the story of a mentor who, in the words of the students, is the foundation of a successful veteran team. This mentor has, for over a decade, focused on sustaining an FRC team and the important building blocks which strengthen the team. These efforts include the creation and operation of many FLL teams, as well as important preseason training programs for FRC students. This mentor has instilled the ideals of FIRST in the community, in her team mentors, and especially in girls who are interested in STEM. Please help us congratulate the 2018 New England Championship Woody Flowers Finalist Award winner, Diane Van Grinted from Team 2067. 
congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it one more time for our Woody Flowers finalist award winner, Diane from Team 2067. And we wish her all the luck in competing for this award at championships in just a few weeks. And once again, also thank you to all of our Woody Flowers finalist award winners from previous years for participating today. Thank you guys. Now it is time for our Alliance Selections. Yeah. There's been a subtle air of tension since we've arrived here. Getting to the New England District Championship is only part of the journey. And I've talked with many teams who are already eager to move on to the World Championships. But we've got one thing to do first, and that is our playoffs this afternoon. We've had an incredible 128 qualification matches, but as I said, that is only the stepping stone to what promises to be an amazing afternoon. The playoffs, there will be eight alliances of three teams each. That means we're gonna be down to the finest 24 robots in all of New England to battle it out here in first power up so we can crown a 2018 New England District Champion. Are you ready, Boston? <laughs> the Alliance selection process is very simple. We will begin our Alliance selection process with a team ranked number one as determined by their average ranking point score. We will pr proceed down to the second, third, fourth, fifth, and all the way to the eighth ranked team. We will then pause for a moment, catch our breath, maybe cross our fingers if you haven't been selected yet. We'll pick those picks back up with Alliance Captain number eight, Proceed seven, six, five, four, three, two, and the very last pick belongs to Alliance Captain number one. There's one very, very simple rule, but it's important to remember, and I'm talking now specifically to our Alliance representatives back here. If you are chosen by an Alliance Captain and you decline, you may not be chosen by any other team. What does this mean? Two possibilities. For example, Alliance Captain number one chooses the team ranked number 63. Team number that's ranked number 63 declines. Perhaps their robot is broken. Perhaps their drive team is out getting Chipotle. I don't know the situation. I wouldn't blame them. Chipotle's delicious. It's not an advertisement. But what that does mean is that, 60, that team ranked 63 cannot be chosen by any other team, any other Alliance Captain. However, if Alliance Captain number one Choose the Alliance Captain number three, a perfectly reasonable thing to do. And Alliance Captain number three says, we would like to form our own alliance. That's perfectly fine. First power up is a very strategic game. However, that does mean Alliance Captain number two, when they turn to Alliance Captain number three and say, hey, 
let's be besties for this playoff. Uh, that is not allowed. If you decline from anyone else, you are not allowed to accept an invitation from another team. Everyone clear? Yeah, all right, uh, that's, that was enthusiastic. All right, Alliance Selection Representatives, are you ready? That's what really counts. New England, are you ready? Very good. Well, let's have up our number eight ranked Alliance captain. Starting out with team number 230, come on down. Team 230, Gail Hawks is from Shelton High School in Shelton, Connecticut. Next up, our number seven ranked team, 32-36. Team 32-36, Triforce is from Tri-County Regional Vocational Technical in Franklin, Massachusetts. Next up, our number five ranked Alliance captain, that's team I'm sorry, number six is 56, 80, 5687. Team 5687, the Outliers, is from Baxter Academy for Technology and Science in Portland, Maine. Here you go. Alliance captain number five, that's team 175. Team 175, Buzz Robotics, is from Enfield High School in Enfield, Connecticut. Here's your cube. Alliance captain number four, that's team 133. Team 133, Bert, is from Bonnie Eagle High School in Standish, Maine. Next up is team 177. Team 177, Bobcat Robotics, is from South Windsor High School in South Windsor, Connecticut. No one can see through this cue ball. Up here next, Alliance captain number two is team 319. Team 319, Big Bad Bob, is from Prospect Mountain High School in Alton, New Hampshire. And your number one ranked Alliance captain with an average ranking point score of 3.66. Let's walk out to the field, 195. Team 195, Cyber Knights is from Southington High School in Southington, Connecticut. Ladies and gentlemen, our first pick of the playoff tournament began, belongs to our number one alliance. Are you ready? Yep. Team 195 would like to invite 319 to join our alliance. <laughs> Team 319, would you like to accept or choose to form your own alliance? Team 319 gratefully accepts. Very nice. That does mean all of our Alliance captains will rotate up the field. And we're going to bring on a new number eight Alliance captain, Team 176. Team 176, Aces High. It's from Windsor Locks High School and Suffield High School in Windsor Locks, Connecticut. Our second pick of the tournament belongs to Team 177. Your selection, please. Team 177 would like to call up Team 176. Team 176, Aces High. Would you, you just got up here, isn't this nice? Would you like to accept or choose to form your own alliance? Team 176 graciously accepts. Excellent work. We have a new, new number eight alliance captain. That would be Team 2170. Team 2170, Titanium Tomahawks is from Glastonbury High School in Glastonbury, Connecticut. Right, Moving on up to alliance captain number three, Team Burt, your selection please. Team 133 would like to invite Team 125 to join our alliance. Team 125, Neutrons, is from Boston Latin and Brookline and Revere High Schools in Boston, Massachusetts. Team 125 gratefully accepts. Down to alliance captain number four. Ready? Oh, she's got a whole notebook. She's totally ready. Team 175, Buzz Robotics, would like to invite Team 230 to join our alliance. Team 230, Gale Hawks. Would you like to accept or form your own alliance? Team 230 graciously accepts. Very nice. That does mean we're going to rotate up one spot and a new, new, new number eight alliance captain. That would be Team 4557. Team 4557, Full Metal Falcons, is from Xavier High School in Middletown, Connecticut. 
And we move to Alliance Captain number five. That's team 5687. Are you ready? Yep. Yep. Team 5687 would like to invite team 88 to our alliance. Team 88, TJ Squared is from Bridgewater Raynham Regional in Bridgewater, Massachusetts. Team 88 graciously accepts. Very nice. Alliance Captain number six, your invitation please. Team 3236 would like to invite Team 1519 to our alliance. Team 1519, Mechanical Mayhem, is from Milford Area Youth Homeschoolers Enriching Minds in Milford, New Hampshire. Team 1519 gratefully accepts. Very nice. All right, so up to our number seven Alliance Captain, probably Snapchatting mom at home, <laughs> telling her you're Alliance Captain. That's pretty cool, huh? Are you ready? Yeah. Excellent. Team 2170 would like to invite Team 1729 to our Alliance. Team 1729, a team inconceivable, is from Monadnock 4-H Robotics Club and 4-H Youth Development Organization in New Ipswich, New Hampshire. Team 1729 graciously accepts. Very nice. Now our number eight alliance captain, Team 4557. 4557 would like to invite 4564 to our alliance. Team 4564, Orange Chaos, is from Brewer High School in Brewer, Maine. Team 4564 would love to cause some chaos with you. <laughs> nice. Our first round of selections are complete, and our alliance captains are set. Our next pick will belong to our number eight alliance. They have, I mean, that's not a bad cho choice here, but they do have, they do, they do have some notes up here, all right? Wait, did that even come from 238? No, it came from somebody else. That's, that's, tr that's the true meaning of chaos, okay? <laughs> All right, our number eight alliance. Uh, oh, we need Jeopardy music. Wow, you called for Jeopardy music? <laughs> we could be here a while. All right, all right, hey, hey, hey. This is excellent audience participation. We have a thumbs up. Oh, uh, no, 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 keep it going, keep it, keep it rolling, keep it rolling. Just kidding. Oh, oh. All right, we are good. Well timed, well timed. Team 4557 and Team 4564 would like to invite Team 95 to our lines. Team 95, Grasshoppers, is from Hartford Area Career and Technology Center in White River Junction, Vermont. Team 95 agrees to hop with you. Ha ha ha, nice. I'm up here with a very blue alliance. Alliance number seven. Hey, who are you talking to? Anybody good? Uh, people on the kids. Oh, okay, all right, that's good. That's, at least that isn't somebody else random up there. Team 2170 would like Team 2168 to our alliance. Team 2168, Aluminum of Falcons, is from Robert E. Fitch High School in Groton, Connecticut. FRC Team 2168 graciously accepts. Very good. Now up to alliance number six. They need a minute. They need a minute. What else do we got on tap, DJ? Anything good? Oh, there you go. That's nice. Okay. All right, we are ready to rock. Team 3236 and Team 1150. Would like to invite Team 558 to our alliance. Team 558 Elm City Robo Squad is from Hill Regional Career High School in New Haven, Connecticut. Team 
Team 558 gratefully accepts. Very good. Our number five, Alliance. Oh, that's a look of confidence. I like it. Team 5687 and Team 88 would like to invite Team 2877 to join our alliance. Team 2877 Ligerbots is from Newton South and Newton North High Schools in Newton, Massachusetts. Team 2877 accepts with utmost jubilance. Whoa, nice. Yeah. Yeah. Very eloquent. I liked it. I liked it. Now up to our number four, Alliance. A minute or a sec? A minute. A minute. All right, we need a minute. Do we have a minute? What's a window sound? Yes. All right. Team 175 and Team 230 would like to invite Team 237 to join our alliance. Team 237 Black Magic Robotics is from Watertown High School in Watertown, Connecticut. Team 237 would like to make magic with you. Aww. Okay, number three, Alliance. A second. Some tunes, all right, we need some, we need some more tunes. We're digging deep today. Oh, that'll stop you real quick. Yeah, look at this guy, all right, yeah. All right, we're going to start getting random team numbers shouted down here, too. That's usually what happens right around this time. Wait, wait, all right, hold on. Did someone shout 254? That's, that is not good. First of all, that's not going to happen. Solid pick. 1114 is the busiest of the weekend, guys. I'm sorry. You're not picking them, right? Not 1114? No? All right. We got it. We got it. Here we go. Team 133 and Team 125 would like to invite Team 238 to join our alliance. Team 238 Crusaders is from Manchester Memorial High School in Manchester, New Hampshire. Team 238 graciously accepts. Very nice. Two more choices remain for our tournament today. Ready? You looked really confident. That sounded, but uh, all right, all right. Ready? Yeah. Team 177 and 176 would like to call up Team 78. Team 78 Airstrike is from Aquidneck Island Robotics 4-H Club in Newport, Rhode Island. 
Team 78 graciously accepts. Very nice. Now, we have one final choice remaining for your playoffs here. A little bit of business to take care of, okay? The top eight, the top eight remaining robots after a final selection as determined by those ranks up there. The final eight after our last pick need to send their alliance selection representative, that's you guys over there, their alliance selection representative from the top eight remaining teams to the blue alliance driver station wall. Top eight remaining teams, alliance selection representative, blue driver station wall. We need you to indicate backup teams your readiness and willingness to participate in the event of a damaged robot. What that means is you need to keep your robot drive team and everyone ready to cheer their guts out if you need to be pulled out of the field in the playoffs. That also is for our team and our alliance captains here. The remaining backup robots will be pulled onto the field of play as determined by the rankings up there. There are no choices. It is determined by the remaining ranks. Keep that in mind. Alliance captains, when we're done here, I want all of our alliance captains to join us on the red alliance side of the field where we'll go through the captain's meeting to discuss timeout coupons and backup robots. All right? So, alliance captains. Alliance captains, raise your hand. Do we have any alliance captains? Oh, we do. That's good. We ha still have them all. You guys are going to join me over here on the red alliance side. Backup robots, eight remaining top ranked teams, blue alliance wall. Got it? All right. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. The last pick of the tournament belongs to our number one ranked alliance. Ready? Yeah. Team 195 and 319 would like to invite 58, 46. <laughs> Team 5846, South Coast Corsairs, is from Family Community in North Dartmouth, Massachusetts. Oh, there's four digits in team numbers, guys. You gotta wait. 5846 and the Kraken will love to swim with you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, your eight alliances, we have formed them for our playoffs. Alliances. Look across the field from each other. These will be your opponents in the first round of quarterfinals. Once again, Alliance captains stay here on the Red Alliance side. Top eight remaining teams up on the board. Please head to the Blue Alliance station wall. We are going to pick up with our first quarterfinal at 1.30. 1.30 will be quarterfinal one, match number one. Alliance captains here, Blue Alliance. All of our remaining ranked, top eight ranked backup robots. Thank you. 